Welcome to Denton, Texas. When I first met Chance, I thought he was a good old boy from the country. But then when I went to visit him at his apartment, and there was just all of these incredible works of art everywhere that he made. I was going to school at Texas A&M Commerce, and uh, I just drew up this sketch of this old man. I didn't look at the physics text. I have no idea. Just something. I just looked up like 18th century portraits. <laughs> and this guy popped up, and I was like, he looks kind of cool. And I was kind of painting, but I didn't have any paint. I turned around and there was duct tape, so I just put duct tape on it. And I guess that's kind of where all this stuff came from. How can you imagine to do that? Uh, portal. <laughs> You're very, very, uh, I don't know about that. My, my grandma saw it, and she was like, she's always pushed me and my brother and my sister to do like silly stuff that. She thinks it is funny, you know, and she's jokingly pushing us to do it. Something told me that I was the only one that maybe saw it the way that it really is, and I felt that I was the one that needed to push him. One day she just called me randomly. She was like, all right, uh, make a duct tape JFK. And I was just like, I thought she was joking, you know, and I was like, okay, Grandma. So, I was bored one day and I was just like, you know what, maybe I'm going to try to do it again. And it was like two years later and um, so I went to the store to get some duct tape and they had like all these colors and I was just like, I could do something like that. So that was actually the first one that was fully duct tape. Like since then I've always had a project going. What you doing buddy? Making business cards. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Justin, the president of studios, just cleared out that area up there. It used to be offices, and now he turned it into a, a gallery. We gave him an opportunity to uh, work in our, our new art gallery space back in April, and he submitted one of his uh, pieces, this Indian piece made out of duct tape, and it was the most recognized and most uh, praised uh, art piece that we had in our art show when we, we did a community art show here at the studio. He's like, we need more stuff like this. I told him that I had like 10 more pieces that I could have up here. And so he called everyone else and was like, all right, we're done with this show. Come get your stuff. And so he just started being like, well, you know, we'll let you just have your own gallery. And so I would just like type a few letters and then move it up or down and over and back. I'm just doing this over there. <laughs> Did you take actual lines from the Sylvia Plath novels? Or? It's just one for bonus. It's called Maps. When I got my internship here, my boss asked me if I could do an art gallery upstairs with like uh, industry related stuff. And he said, you know, you use duct tape, could you use gaff tape? Gaff tape's used in like the television and film industry to like hold down cords and stuff and uh, it doesn't leave any residue behind, it's made out of cloth and duct tape. It's easier to rip but it also, it crinkles a little bit at the end whenever you rip it, especially whenever you get tri uh, tripping in smaller pieces and it gives it like a glossy look. Gaff tape is a lot harder to rip um, and it gives it more of a matte look to it. Oh, Chance! What? I just realized you mixed gaff with duct on this one. Yeah. I like it. I like the gaff tape, and I like the duct tape, and I really like it when they come together. Yeah, glossy background, matte. That's a really good effect. My first gaff tape was Meryl Streep, and we did that for a screening that we had because uh, the movie Silkwood was shot here at the studios. And so I did that one, and um, I thought it looked kind of cool. And I thought that I was still going to do the movie-related stuff up there, so I was like, I'll stick with gaff tape for a little bit. That's actually Meryl Streep from, uh, from 
I'm so glad it was shot here in the studios. Okay. We always say in production, you know, gaff tape can be used for anything. And to see an artist uh, that has embraced uh, both gaff and duct tape um, is pretty amazing. Um, art form to be able to peel and stick and create a visual art piece um, out of a piece of tape. What, why did you choose, since you could get these colors in the duct tape, what did you choose to do it with the, with the other tape? Is it because it's matte? Yeah, well I was originally trying to do a, uh, a gallery with like movie and film related, or film related, related uh, stuff. And so gaff tape. And so gaff tape. Did that, so I did it. And plus, I stuck with it because it looks cool and matte. I think the response is wow. I mean, uh, people can't believe that you can take a piece of tape and mold it into a, a masterpiece of an art form. And then moved on to other, moved on to gaff tape just because I'm interning here actually. And uh, my boss wanted me to do stuff with the uh, stuff that I was doing. He was like, you have to do duct tape. We were wanting to make really big pieces for it, and so I was like, alright, might as well start with what I know best, tape, and just make it really big. And I was like, I'll do Hitchcock. He always uses blondes in his films, so I was like, let's, we can use some blondes somehow. And I found this picture of him like this, you know, and he's got the birds on his shoulder. And I just took the birds off and made it look like the two girls were holding, hanging onto his arm. That to, that's Grace Kelly on his right, our left. It's Grace Kelly, and then the other one's Tippi Hedren. So I just I drew their hands, made it look like they're, they were holding his arms, you know. Once I got their three faces done, I was like, I'm done. And I still have like seven and a half feet of wood to cover up. And I was just like, <laughs> so it was. That was hard to do. It took me like 30 to 40 hours on it. Have you ever thought about making a giant mural? That's the biggest one I've done, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, that one's way out of hack. Like doing, doing ones like this, like as soon as I get their face done, I know what it's going to look like. So I, yeah, right. I got their faces done on that, and I was like, another seven feet. Right. So it took me like, it took me a full month to do that. I've been like, you know, what he does is not easy at all. That's why nobody else has ever done it. Because it takes a lot of time and a lot of um, attention to detail. I try picking a picture that's not, or an image that isn't like super well known, maybe more of an obscure image. Pretty much just pick people that are influential. You want me to do people that don't mean anything to me but mean stuff to other people, just to sell it. And I don't want to do that. I just want to do stuff that means stuff to me. I don't think that you'll be an artist. I don't want to be an artist. Okay, see, so I just wanna... then I answer the question, Matt. Well, I don't know. I'm just not going to do famous people that don't mean anything to me. That's wrong, yeah. And what's the question? What's the name? Anna. It's hard to start a piece, just like it's hard for me to start a book. I don't ever want to start a book, but once I get into it, it makes me want to go forward. That's kind of what, what it does in the art. I'm trying to find a picture that I took my sister a while ago that I'm going to turn into a duct tape piece. How long would it normally take you for a piece like that? Uh, it normally takes me about 7 to 12 hours. Yeah. I sent her the picture and she was like, who is that? I was like, that's you. She said, seriously? I was like, yeah. And uh, she was like, I look cool. <laughs> Where are you going to work on it primarily? The floor of my apartment. <laughs>
I said I was cheating when I trace. Yeah. It's, I think that might be the hardest part. <laughs> There's so many different shades of gray and black and stuff. I have to select which ones are going to actually be visible. Show me one. Baby, won't you show me one again? And when I can feel with my son hands, I promise not to lose her again. And even if the morning never comes, my hands are blessed. Who touched the sun? The sun. Like in my gallery, whenever I would meet people, I'd be, they'd be like, "Are you the artist?" I'm just like, "Yeah, I made it." <laughs> I, like, or if I go up to them, I'm just like, "Hey, I'm Chance. I uh, I made this stuff. I'm not like I'm Chance the artist, you know?" Because I feel like I feel like there's kind of a negative connotation um, on that term. He's very modest and very humble, and he doesn't he doesn't want to draw attention to himself, but. That's just something he's going to have to get used to because he's going to get a lot of attention with this stuff. It's incredible. I think he was very creative. He's definitely different than just regular artists with paint or sketches. Chance was here as just a production assistant and, you know, um, he goes, I'm not really an artist. And I said, yes, you are. You know, he doesn't, he keeps on telling me he's not an artist, but he truly is an artist. The term artist, it scares me. I mean, yeah, I would consider it art, you know, just because it's it's made for people to look at. Anything can be art, no matter what you make it with. The image, I guess, to almost not make it my own, but to make it unique. So sure, yeah. I was like. Okay. It's enough me that I can make it big. It's enough me. I like, <laughs> it's, I enough like, me. it's enough of me. I don't know. That's a stupid answer, but <laughs> no, I, I like it. We'll I mean, make it work. I'm, I'm gonna definitely use that. <laughs> that's gonna be the that's gonna be the tagline for this documentary. It's enough of me. It's enough of me. There you go. Let's, let's, let's look right in the, the camera. Look right in the camera and say that. It's enough of me. <laughs> can that be the title? Yes. It's enough. And of can me. we do a voiceover? And whenever I say like it's like it's pops up. It's enough, enough of me. me. Just do that. I like it. It's enough me and put the words in my hand. In your hand? Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's go get a out. digital hand. Of, no, <laughs> it's no. enough me. Just go, just go get a cutout of it's and enough and me. I'll just do this. And I need another hand. <laughs> come over here, Jessica. Just go, go, go give him a hand. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. Okay, back to seriousness now. Why, who keeps Why are you doing? Jesus Christ. Timmy Hedren and Grace Kelly are pissed. <laughs>